Good evening, everybody. We do want to begin with breaking news here. The first execution in the state of Tennessee since 2009 held tonight in Nashville. Billy Ray Irick was executed tonight after sitting on death row for more than 30 years. The death sentence of Billy Ray Irick was carried out by means of lethal injection on August 9th, 2008, 2018, in accordance with the laws of the state of Tennessee. The sentence was carried out at the Riverbend Maximum Security Institution here in Nashville. He was pronounced dead at 7.48 p.m. Irick was sentenced to die for the 1985 rape and murder of seven-year-old Paula Dyer. Irick had served as Paula's babysitter at her family's North Knoxville home. Now, it's taken more than 30 years for his sentence to be carried out, and we've been following a string of appeals leading up to today when the U.S. Supreme Court ruled it would not stop the execution. WATE 6 on your side, reporter Madison Keevy was in Nashville tonight hearing from those who witnessed tonight's execution. After witnessing the first execution in Tennessee in nearly a decade, members of the media that were inside shared what they saw. Some saying they're still processing, others say this is just part of the job, and some even saying they don't know how they'll be affected just yet. It sounded like he was snoring and breathing heavily. His stomach was pulsating up and down as he breathed. Paula Dyer's family witnessing it happen. Local reporter Jamie Satterfield speaking to media after sharing what she saw, including some of Paula's family's reaction. I saw a woman more of a profile, and I, I, I don't know if that was the, her mother or someone else, but she leaned in really close as he took his last breaths. Um, I could not see any um, real emotion. Um, and then after he quit breathing, I noticed the gentleman, the one I suspect was the brother, he just kind of leaned back and slumped down a little bit. Other witnesses giving us a timeline and a picture of what happened inside the execution chamber. Sounds coming out of his mouth. You can see his mustache kind of moving up and down when the sounds came out of his, out of his mouth. It's very difficult to know if he was feeling pain. He did not scream or, or writhe per se. Witnesses say when he was first asked if he had anything to say, he answered no. Then said, I just want to say I'm really sorry and that that's it. Then he began gulping and his eyes started to close around 728. Um, Witnesses also tell us that Irik had no friends or family present, just his counsel. Reporting in Nashville, Madison Keevy, WATE 6 on your side. And speaking of Irish counsel, Gene Shiles giving witnesses a statement when he asked what he thought before the execution. Now he says, I never thought for one moment that it would come to this. I never did. I thought somebody actually would look at the facts. I was wrong. 